Hi, I'm Claire. Welcome to your chair yoga practice. This practice is designed to be suitable for everybody. So no matter who you are, what level of experience, what age you are, what ability you have, you can practice chair yoga with me and get fit where you sit. I'll be giving you lots of options throughout the class. So please choose the ones that feel the best for you today in your body. Are you ready? Let's get started. Welcome to your chair yoga practice for today. I'm going to start in sitting mountain with the feet grounded and the spine tall, taking a few breaths to begin our practice today. Today is going to be all about balance. Take one more breath. When you're ready, open your eyes. Keep your left foot grounded now and as you inhale, raise your right heel from the ground. As you exhale, raise the ball of the foot. Inhale the heel. And exhale, ball of the foot. One more time. And then ground down through that right foot. And do the same on the left side. Lifting. You might need to wiggle your feet forward or back. It's a little challenging to do one of those directions. Find that middle ground. Now from here, we're going to ground both feet and then just let the knees gently rock. You might even feel how that energy and that weight shifts across the bottom of your feet. From one side to the other. Then coming back and lift the toes and splay them out from the pinky toe to the big toe. One toe at a time. One more time. And from there, keep your left foot grounded and gently raise your right heel from the ground. Now you might like to just raise the heel here or you might like to come up a little bit more and as you place the foot down, heel toe, inhaling to lift and exhaling to lower. Feel the whole bottom of the foot touch down on the ground. Let's change sides. So either just lifting the heel or maybe letting that leg come off the ground and see if you can place it down as though you're walking heel toe. Keep the spine long. Nice. Now let's walk the feet a little bit wider apart. And if you'd like to, you can extend the legs long. Turn the toes now in to face each other, turning the whole leg and then out internally rotating and externally. Are you still breathing? Is the spine still tall? Nice. Now we'll bring them back in and we're going to do the same action but with the bent legs so maybe a little bit more width might be nice. Dropping the knees in and taking them out and you can roll over to the sides of your ankles now if that feels nice for you. Then we'll bring our feet back into sitting mountain now and take a breath in, just lift the heels and lower down and two more just like that. Beautiful. And just take a breath now in sitting mountain. And then from there, we'll lift the shoulders up and roll them back and down them up and roll them back and down and around and again. Mm, feels good. One and then we'll from here keep the left foot down. We're going to take the right foot up to the tippy toe. Now there's a few options here. You might just like to keep it here in the center. You might pick it up and flex the foot. You might take it out to the side on the ground and leave it on the ground or you might pick it up and hold on to it with your hand and take it out to the side off the ground. Make sure you keep your left knee pointing forward and you can hold under or on top of your knee, whatever feels more comfortable. Now the spine is long and the hand might go to the shoulder or perhaps out and you might look towards that left finger. Make sure wherever you are you can breathe and it's the right option for you today. Now, if you feel 
like you'd like to extend your leg, give it a go and hold on underneath. I find that more comfortable here. And we'll bring that leg back in from wherever it was, back to the centre. Now, again, you've got option to keep your foot on the ground for this one and extend it out with the toes pointing back. Or maybe you'd like to pick it up and push the heel forward. Now, pointing and flexing the toes a few times here, making sure that spine is long, crown of the head up to the ceiling. And we're just activating our lymphatic system a little when we point and flex with the leg outstretched like this. Just hold here for a moment and breathe. Keep pressing the heel forward. And we're going to heel to our left leg across, just one heel toe. And then from there, bring that right foot down and either cross over at the ankle, legs together, or maybe up and over across the knee. But be careful that that bottom knee doesn't fall inwards. No, we want to look after that. So look for that line from the middle toe to the knee and the inner hip bone. Remember the foot up or down, you still get the same benefits. Tall spine. And then we take our right hand under our left. You either cross back to back or we bring our elbows up or we wrap around, either in a hug or maybe with the palms touching and the elbows lifting. Remember again, what is best for you today? You be you and I'm gonna be me. Choose what feels good for you. Now, we're going to take a breath in and really grow the spine here. Then on your exhale, start to fold forward. Keep the legs steady. On the inhale, unravel your arms and let them stretch out like wings beside you. And on your exhale, Wrap them back up again, right under left to wherever you were before. Press into your feet and inhale, start to rise back up. Beautiful. Now, unravel your right leg from the left, wherever it is. Now, we're going to take that back. So you may take it um, under the chair. Be careful if there's any rungs there. Put it onto the ball of the foot. So you're pressing back to your heel and then fold forward from the waist. And this is a variation on warrior three pose. Usually you'd have your leg floating up off the floor, but this is a variation. But you can still get all those same benefits of balance here on the chair. Bring the foot back and if you like, you can cross it back to wherever it was before or just place it on the ground if that's not feeling right. And then we'll unravel the arms and going to gently twist now towards the right, but keep the spine long as you twist. Don't bend or lean over. Crown of the head up, that left knee not falling in. And breathing space and softness with that breath. Come back around to the front now and gently let that leg unravel. Take your time and come back into sitting mountain. How does that feel? Keep the right leg steady now. Let's do the left. Remember all the options. You can keep it on the ground or you can lift it up. You can have it at the side or the front. And flex your foot and your other hand could be maybe on your hip or your shoulder or extend it out looking if it's comfortable. And you might, if you choose to extend that leg, you could do that as well. Now, bringing it back to the middle, you might like to have it up, but remember you can also have it on the ground, pointing and flexing the toes a few times. So just showing the option, but you can keep it up if it's better for you. And then we'll just hold and breathe for a couple of breaths here just to let that settle. And either keeping your leg up or placing it down as you move that right leg across. And then we'll take the ankle either across the other ankle or over the knee, remembering to choose the option that's right and careful of that right knee. Look for that alignment. Sit up nice and tall through the spine. Left under right this time as you come into your 
option with the arms there's so many choose the one that feels good for me on this side today it feels better to actually come into the hug version I'm going to choose that as we start to move around from here we're going to breathe in and grow tall through the spine and on the exhale breath we're going to start to fold forward over the legs breath will extend the arms out to the sides and on the exhale wrapping them back up again to wherever you were or a different place remember you don't have to stay the same all the time inhale to rise up now unraveling that left leg from the right and let's move into our warrior three variation taking the foot behind onto the ball of the foot pressing back through that left heel to drive you forward Keep the spine long. If you want, you could unravel your arms. Why not? Wrap them up again if you did. And on your inhale breath, press back up through the legs and unravel the leg back to the front. And if you'd like, you could cross back into those eagle legs again. Unravel your arms. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, you're going to take a twist towards the left. Let your hands just fall wherever they fall. Try and avoid pushing or pulling. Instead, let the breath give you that space, that lift, that expansion and the softness. And removing and returning back to sitting mountain. Take a breath here. And let's now move into tree pose. Left leg can stay on the ground and find a place for your right leg that opens your hip but that feels good on your knee and your ankle and your hip. If you bring your leg up, make sure that you flex your toes and you're not pressing on your kneecap. Hands to your heart center, close the eyes, come back to your breath done a lot of flying around with that eagle pose on the warrior three. Let's come back to earth again. And then when you're ready, let's change sides. Take your time to come out of that position. Ground that right foot down and let the left leg open. Remember it can be on the ground, it can be crossed over, or maybe up on top of that knee, but not on the kneecap and flex your foot. Breathe here. Spine is tall. Bottom foot is grounded to the earth. is flowing and slowly releasing when you are ready back to sitting mountain let's take a couple of breaths here just notice the effects of what we've done the next time you inhale bring your hands to the side of the chair and lift your sternum and on your exhale, fold gently over your legs. You can make your legs a bit wider if you'd like some more space. You could hold your knees, your shins, you could hold either elbow, you could wiggle down your legs and let your head fall if that's okay for you. Remember any high blood pressure or pressure in chest or head, you might want to come up with your head above your heart. Feel the breath into the back body. the torso be heavy let the head be heavy if you'd like you can let your arms drape down for a moment and then as you come up take as many breaths as you like take your time there's no rush Coming into sitting mountain once more to be 
finish our practice, close the eyes, notice how you're feeling. You're welcome to stay here as long as you like. You might want to sit back and relax. Let's finish our practice by saying Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me in that chair yoga practice. I trust you'll have a beautiful day. I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste. Bye for now.